Great old master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Great old master. Joe here with you. Trisha's hanging out. Hey, Trisha. Trisha, come here. Pause up. Yes, down. So that was Trisha, my Rhodesian Ridgeback. I have one of two. Today we're gonna do bacon, and that's why Trisha's hanging around. She smelled me taking that bacon out, and bacon, bacon. So, I'm doing the bacon. We're gonna change our video series up a lot. We're not gonna do a whole meal at a time. We're just gonna do items at a time. One item, one video. So, for this, we're gonna cover bacon, cooking bacon. Here's my G-Shield. I'm gonna take it off. We're going to put it off to the side. So I haven't cooked on this, oh my goodness, in a while. Because I also cook on my other griddle top. I like both. I like the big one for, for doing a lot of things. And then I also like having the dome for my other grill. If I had my preference, I would have a grill this size with a dome, but that's just me. So I'm gonna get a little paper towels because I haven't cooked on this for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up a little and I'm gonna squirt some, some water on there, uh, just a little bit so we can wipe it down. And I have some bacon and David, I need a cutting board, please. Um, preferably the big cutting board and a knife. I want to let it get just a little bit hotter. Always remember you're dealing with steam. Be careful. Use tongs. My trash can, trash, that's my trash can. Okay, so I always put my grill, my, my burners on high for like two minutes, three minutes, just to get my griddle hot. And so now I turn them all to max low. Now I have it all on low. Now when you do bacon and you do, well, we're just talking about bacon. Griddle Master Junior Junior said, Dad, stay focused on just one thing and we're cooking bacon. So that's what we're talking about. So with bacon, when you cook it, if you cook it too high, it's gonna cook so fast and you only have like a 30 second window to get the bacon from this side to this side before it starts to burn or it's overcooked. When you cook at low, it's nice and patient and, and good. It's, it's good for you to, you'll have time to flip it over and it won't overcook that way. I personally always like, if you've watched me do bacon in the past, I always cook it and cut it in half. Because this is the perfect size for bread. So if you're doing sandwiches or whatnot. Okay, so I'm finishing up the last two. Always remember, to put it and put it so it goes away from you. If there's grease or something, you don't want it flattened on you. And as you can see, it's nice having a lot of room. So bacon, we're gonna get into this grease and what we do with the grease when we're done since we have no hole. A lot of times we wait until the bacon is totally done on one side before we flip it. And what happens is it's actually cooking the top side too. So when you flip it, it overcooks this side. So you wanna, when you think it's like halfway to three quarters of the way done with the bacon, that's when you wanna flip it. So if you look from the top view down, you'll see it's browning just a little bit. So you see how fast this is? It's only been a couple minutes. I mean, I, I laid down 
the rope, and now I'm already flipping them. And that's on low. Low, 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 as low as I can go. The only way I could get it lower is by doing every other burner or, or leaving a few burners off. This is my best friend, paper towels. I go through probably one roll of paper towels every four to five times I cook. But it's better than using a, a cloth, a, a cotton cloth. So here we go. That fast. Mrs. Griddlemaster likes her bacon lightly done. Where I like my bacon more done, more crispy. But see, I don't have to rush. Now, if I wanted, just to show you, we could use our flippers, come all the way across, hold them up, let all that grease, and flip it on. You always want to be careful doing bacon, cooking with grease. So here we go. We have some for Mrs. Griddle Master, some for me. Woo, hot. I'm going to go ahead and turn our burners off. So let's put that down here. Let's get it all nice and pretty for you. That is so hot. So this is how you do bacon, and let's see one that I like. It took about not even five minutes to do the whole thing of bacon. Not even five minutes. I put them on, I flipped them over, in a couple minutes they were ready to come off. Done. Bacon on a griddle master griddle top please if you like the video or if you want to hear and see more of what to do on a griddle top how to do it like us on facebook subscribe to us on on youtube remember to click that link help us the more people that will like us the more we get these videos out